All right. Creed 3. I already knew this would be a great boxing movie because every single Creed movie has elevated the boxing and made it look more real and more real. And it's like they know the camera angles to get where it looks like every punch is landing. Every single one. Now, I know like they, they're, they're going for realism in these. So, you know, some, some of the hits are landing. Maybe some punches are pulled and all that and camera trickery. But like majority landed to the viewer. 100 percent of that looks real. Yeah, one hundred percent of it looks real, and Creed three escalates what 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 the first Creed movies did, and it's like if you're in for if you if you're looking for a great boxing movie, um, there you go. Look no further. They, they, there it is. Shit, I, just to, to jump directly into it like you did. If you first of all, if you enjoy the masterpiece you can create from hard work and dedication from working out, mm. you'll love this movie. If you love boxing, you'll love this movie. They show certain boxers in this film. If you're a fan of boxing, um, Michael B. Jordan just, I think he deserves his spot in history and filmmaking when it comes to a boxing film in he general. He did his thing. He did his he thing. He did his thing. The, the storyline behind it was beautiful. His past story was believable. Like, it was... That's real shit, yo. That's some it's like, real shit. So, some things are like, like you know, it's fantasy when we go see these movies. But there, there, was, there was enough of that grounded in realism where I'm like, yeah, I could see that happening. I could see that exact scenario happen in real life. And I know that's probably played out in, 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 in a, bunch of, a bunch of scenarios, a bunch of people's lives and all that. that that's, that's, that's real. Man, that, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Like, I got Terry out watching it. This is before the sad scenes. I got Terry out listening to um, people, like, trying to tell him and asking, like, what's going on? Like, what's going through your head? Main man came back in your life, and you, you can't function. And it, it hurt to hear how much he was going through it. I didn't mm -hmm. know regret was, like, really hurting Donnie like that. But that's the beauty of good writing. Yeah. It, it just, it, it, felt, it felt really good, and it, the whole journey was believable. And the boxing was just like Top front tier. and center. Like we're gonna keep the spoiler free section short because pretty much anything I say could be a spoiler. So <laughs> I'm just gonna say if you if you liked Creed one and two, go see this immediately. Like you you you're, you're gonna love it. Like that's that's pretty much all I can say. I loved it. It was it was it. it was a fantastic experience. Other than the fact that we had a fucking Coach on the side of us commentating the whole fucking movie like he was in the motherfucker. I don't know why every single time we go see a creep movie in the theater, it's some fucked up shit happening. Every single time, there's some there, there's some some actual boxing coach that's in the theater with us. Oh, if I was in there, I would have dipped. I would have punched back. I would have slid. You were here with us the whole time. It's not like he was drunk. Keep your hands up. Keep, cool, stick a move. I'm like, nigga, can you shut the fuck up? He was drunk. You heard what he said? Oh, if I get about this seat, he ain't gonna swing at me, nigga. <laughs> you, 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 you. He will knock you in the last week and next week all at the same time. Like, sit your bitch ass down. Theater. He'll knock you into a different fucking theater. <laughs> where where, where yep. am I? Like, like, shut up. Creed 2, a, a, a motherfucker brought her newborn in the theater for some reason and the motherfucker was crying the whole time. That was annoying. And this time, we got a fucking cut man slash coach slash whatever the fuck sitting over there on the side of us talking old goddamn movie. Luckily, it didn't disturb me to the point where I couldn't focus on the movie. So right. that's why I still had a great time. I need, I need Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan to knock this nigga the fuck out so that if they do make a Creed 4, I can enjoy that without him fucking hopping in the movie. John, yo, Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Um, hey, brother, for the love of acting, I love you. Um, you. You took this shit serious, serious. And I don't know if you watched it, but... His mannerisms, like, during the film, like, he, he, he showed how thrilled off he was from prison. Mm -hmm. Like, even him walking into the ring, he was just, like, twitching and out. out he, he had, he had, he had Tyson mannerisms. Tyson mannerisms. Had, there you go. He had Tyson mannerisms. When he was in the ring, and it's like, the way he was processing shit, like, it was like a fish out of water. And he, he played that perfectly, like, like, the way he was, like, you know, not tweaking, but, like, you know what I mean? Just, 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 just like, a, adapting to things. And he, he still had that, like, that hood mentality and that prison mentality, the way he was, you know... Carrying himself. So what I'm going to say to wrap up the spoiler free section is this was a fantastic movie, both both as a as a, I can't talk both as a Creed movie and as a boxing movie. If you want to go see it, go see it. If you like boxing, go see it. If you like Creed, go see it. That's it.
Anything else to say? I'm happy. Great fucking movie. You know what I mean? If you can't already tell, because I'm damn near yelling at, at, at 1230 in the fucking morning. So, with that being said, we're going to get into some spoilers. I'm going to give you all the three, the two, and the one. The heart of this movie really, 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 you know, was at front and center. Because, like, and, and I was a little confused when watching the trailer. I, I thought it was a situation where, where they both got locked up and, you know, he was in juvie, so he got out. And, 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 and um, Jonathan Major's character, he, you know, he was older, so he stayed in longer. Nah, Donnie rolled out. Like, he was scared. He rolled out. And, and it's like, e- even the reason why he attacked the dude, when that comes out, I'm like, I get it, I man. Get it. I get it. Because, like, first, you don't know what's going on. You, you, you're getting drip fed the story. And I like how they did that with the flashbacks and jump to the present and all that. That's great. Speaking of the present, like, the callbacks is crazy. Like, Starting the movie off with, 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 with Pretty Ricky, uh, 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 the, that, that fight, with, which, which is with, with the antagonist from the first movie. So it's like, that, that, that you got the rebadge. So the, the one dude you didn't beat, boom, now you get a chance. And then he beat him. And it's like, that, that's the legacy right there. It's like, all right, that, that's it. I'm done. Yes, I'm done. And even, even though he analyzed all that with the, because he, Michael B. Jordan said he had some anime influences you know, going into this. And you can see that. Hajime no Ippo and all that. It's like you see when, when the first fight when he's analyzing stuff and like slowing it down, seeing seeing the location, like boom, right there. Like you could see that, and it was it was incredible. But with with, with his backstory, with him, with with him him and uh, I, I keep forgetting what what's what's uh, what's uh Johnson Major's character? I I, I forgot. I, I um, forget names. Damon. Damon was it Damon? Damon. Yeah, okay. I Damon. think it was Damon. I just fucking watching movie. Forgot already. But um, something about that name. Any character named Damon is just. A fierce beast. Not Damon Wayans. He's funny as fuck. Ah, fuck you got that. But that's his name in real life. Eh, well. But Damon touche. from Game of Thrones, and then you got Damon. Okay, all right. I, I, I get you. But like, you know, the, the whole uh, situation surrounding that where, and, and I like how they, 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 they started it off with like, you know, b- back, back in the 90s. Oh, you know man. what I mean? And, and as soon as I heard that, that instrument, I'm like, I know what song that is. Mm-hmm. Instrument went a little long. I'm like, I know what song it is. I didn't, I didn't know whether it was actually gonna play the song, but when when the song came in, I'm like, boom, there it is. It's like, you know what I mean? L.A. '90s had that had that vibe and all that. Him, you know, him sticking out the house. You don't know where they going. Like, did they, they 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 about to rob somebody? Like, I, I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, that's what I thought because the you know the trailers made you think that they got into some. Yeah, I thought there was some, some hood hood shit. I'm like, oh shit, what they doing? But I, I like how they established that 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 <laughs> Damon was a beast even back then because they you know they went to the ring. He's over there fighting. Bet money, then you know, open the bag, you see the strap, you're like, oh shit, what the fuck is going on? Even him, he wondering, but you know, that that's his homie. So he's like, you know what I mean? That, that's like my brother. So if he got the strap, he got the strap. It is what it is. I'm not gonna question him on it. We're gonna let it ride. He in the ring, he's a beast, he's calling shit out. It's like checkmate. Boom, boom, boom. boom. I said, damn, he's a beast. And that shot, the camera angles from when he calls checkmate, it's like he slows everything down, yeah, hits him yeah, at a certain angle, yeah. the opponent falls. And that showed you Damon already had the skill set. It's just that him going away for years, yeah. he didn't get a chance to display it like Donnie did, which is why I could see where it wasn't even really anger. It was kind of I want to make up for lost time. Yeah, like, it's, it's like he, he, like he's like the clock's ticking for me. It's like you you had a chance. I was in, I was I was locked the fuck for eighteen years. You lived my life. Like clock is ticking. So you know I mean he, he goes there, he knocks the dude the fuck out. They in the car, they celebrating and shit like that. They go they go to the liquor store and then he he happened to see. You know what I mean? Yeah, Donnie saw somebody from his past and it fucked him up. You start wailing on him. And it's like, soon as soon as you see it, you can tell it's personal. Like, you, know, you don't remember me, do you? And I'm like, damn, what, what, what happened? He, he's he's beating the fuck up. It's like, but the whole backstory, when you find, when, when it all comes out, you, you, you see why all of that happened. You, yeah. you, see, you see why Donnie ran. Damon, Damon that, that's his brother. So when you see that happening, strap come out. Like, I mean... Yeah. When, when you want to protect your family and you see a, a bunch of dudes wailing on them, you can run in there and you know you at a disadvantage and you right. know what's going to happen. Or you can pull out, or you can pull out the strap and like, hey, listen, stop that shit right now. Like that's that's a way to get everybody to disengage. Unfortunately, Popo came through and then it got fucked up for fucked up for everybody. You know what I mean? So it it, it was just a, a a sad situation. But but that whole thing like it really happens. He. When he got out, like one thing I, I like about this, and and, and there, there's two sides to this. 
the way he went about get, uh, like 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 handling things when he got out, uh, other than than the whole setup and getting Drago hand broken, right? So he can have his chance to fight. That that's that's the one part where I'm like, because he like engineered his success. The whole thing. The whole thing. Other, other than that, though, it's like. He 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 wanted he wanted to make it for lost time. He wanted to do things like he. A part of him was angry, but like, I feel I feel like. In a way, he could have done worse. Like, as, as fucked up as it sounds, because because I've seen scenarios where my motherfucker get out and, and he's wilding out, like he's yeah. trying to fuck everybody's life up. It's like, nah, man, fuck you, fuck them, and all that. So it's like he was still trying to make his way in the best way he knew how, because he got that. Got that that you know the hood mentality, the prison mentality is like this. This is the way I can organize, I can orchestrate. You give me a shot, right? Because like he approached him first, is like I, I want, I want the title shot. It's like it don't work like that. It we can't like do that. that. So it's like you up. he's like, all right, I, I'm gonna engineer that shit. I'm gonna make it happen. And ain't like he got anybody killed or anything. He just broke a nigga hands. So yeah, he, he, his spot. He, he you know he temporarily disabled him so that he could like move in there because he knew what would happen. And this is gonna sound fucked up. It could have been worse. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I respect him for the way he went about doing it, even though there was some 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 you know some shady shit going on. So I should be I should be more mad at him, but I'm like, I done seen it play out a lot worse I in could, real life. Yo, so, I couldn't yo, throughout the movie, I can't even sit back and tell you that I was angry with him. Do you know why? He wasn't a malicious motherfucker. He literally, he was zoned in on boxing. Yeah, yeah, His life yeah. was all about boxing. I, yeah. I missed out on the life that I wanted. I'm yeah. coming out. I'm dedicating getting my life back by using boxing. Right. I'm getting back at you by using boxing. Right. I'm yeah. getting my life back on track by using boxing. Yeah. I broke a nigga hand. Yes. But I wanted to speed up time to get my shit in order. Yeah. On top of that, if you think about it, if you watch the trailers, I'm thinking he was going to mess with Donnie's family or yeah, some type yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he didn't. Yeah. He kept it at, yo, give me a shot. And I'm gonna get back at you the best way that I can. I mean, he was wilding out when uh, he was. <laughs> Listen, when 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 Donnie went on uh, 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 yeah, uh, Stephen A. Smith, <laughs> my man was right. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? We doing it? We doing it now? Yo, we doing this now? Donnie said, "Yo, wrong time. Not not right we, now, we, yo. Not, he said, not no, not nah, now. We ain't gonna do this now. Nah, right now, live, live. You live. You ain't running from me. Like, what's up? What's up? Right. Stephen, S., Stephen A. Smith said, "Oh shit, oh, man, I ain't talking about LeBron no more. Yeah. We talking about talking this. about this shit." <laughs> like damn, the movie the movie generated a lot of emotions for me. Yeah, and the realism was beautiful because um, you lose that much time away from your life, mm -hmm. you are focused. Yeah, because you can't do what they do. Yeah, um, Michael B. Jordan was 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 showing us how he's a family guy now, mm -hmm. how he's out of sync with boxing. And I don't know if you noticed in the beginning of the movie, well, not the beginning, like during the middle when he's with his daughter and his wife, you see he's not as bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was realistic. Yeah. I love that. Um, the mom scene killed me. Mm. And and it kind of the only thing about the movie I wanted more of was I wanted them to show how the mom situation motivated him slash turned yeah, his life around. Yeah, yeah. They kind of zoomed past. Yeah, it. I mean they had the way I thought about it. They got a lot to cover, so they got to speed yeah, speed past. Yeah, 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 so yeah, if yeah. it was a longer movie, they maybe would have got more of that. I, I agree with you. Like I could have I could have done with more of that too. But it, the it, timing, it, they couldn't. Yeah, be. yeah. They they had a lot to cover, man. Because I I do feel like um, after his mom passed, and rest in peace to her. Because that's that scene, like any any scene with him with a mom passing like yeah. that, that kills me. I, and I, I end up zoning out. Cause I'm like, I can't do this. But a, after that, I I, I kind of feel like they kind of sped up to to the 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 him versus Damon. He went right into training. It's like it, the I mean I get it was a montage. So it, was, it was over a period of time, but. Yeah. You know what I mean? It it is what it is. That's that's just you know a personal thing for me. It, it yeah, doesn't it doesn't really it doesn't really affect the movie, but at all at all isn't. Yeah, it's it's so minor. Like it's it's not even not even a factor. But, but it, it showed how real life is for yeah, someone who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you're a boxer, you need to be focused, and I feel as though that showed the strength of Adonis. He really had to get back into the ring and focus. You, yeah. you lose a parent. Um. You know, everything was just going wrong. And, and and I will say this again and again and again. Not you you can't just be any actor and involve yourself in this type of film. No. So I want to give all praises to the both of these yeah. actors yeah. for getting into extreme shape. And delivering amazing fights. Yeah. And I'm glad you said focus because focus was the theme of the final fight. Focus. Yeah. When they drowned out the whole entire crowd and it was just both of them in the ring. Yep. 
and and that 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 was like a live action anime right there, where it's like everything was coming into play. Like they saw themselves as as, as the younger selves. Like the, and and that that right there, when when Damon saw saw Donnie as the younger one, that's how yeah, you yeah. that's how that's when you could see the love and like he still had love for him. It's like it wasn't all aggression. He like that was still his little brother. Like he was hurt a little bit, but but he still loved him as a brother. Right. Like, it was hurt, like, not hate. Like yeah, he punched him on the beach, and yeah, he was he was he was wild out a little bit, but you know he wasn't gonna. He wasn't going to really like, like, like disable him or anything but he like did that. The same thing when they were younger. Remember, they spoke about it. He said, "I remember you knocking me out." He said, "Yeah, but I also helped you up." Yeah. So, Dame wanted to prove a point. Yeah. Ever since he got out of prison, he didn't want to kill Donnie, hurt his family. He literally said, "Give me a title shot," and I also want to show you that I'm still better than you. And I love that. That's some that's some '90s I, era vicious. I want to I want to prove it to you by beating you in the ring. Yeah. Not by not by beating you the fuck about here in the ring in a professional setting. I wanna I wanna show you that I still got it and I'm the best. And they went toe to toe, yo. They went toe to toe. And I love how the fact that cause you saw how 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 Dane was 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 fighting dirty against the first dude. Oh, yeah. Like, unless I missed it, he didn't fight dirty at all in, in the in the final final fight. He, um, now now granted, uh uh Wood Harris did tell him like he's gonna fight dirty, so be be on the lookout yeah. for that. So maybe he was avoiding it. Cause like he he was like parrying a lot of stuff too. He was. If you look at Michael B. Jordan's foot movement, the way he parried, slip, slip, so slip. So he he didn't let him. He didn't even let him. Okay. He knew him. Remember, he yeah. watched Dane when they were younger, so yeah. he knew he would do that elbow yeah. bullshit. Yeah. And he was so fast. This was the best I've seen Donnie look in all three movies yeah. as far as fighting. He used this, and then he went back to. I tell you, when it comes to the fighting, when Dane was in the ring with that with the, with the with the first dude that they was initially that was you know that, that that he got set up with yo when he was started when he started yeah. fighting dirty the way they showcased that shit I'm like god damn and it was it, they slowed it down for the camera but you know it was so fast mm -hmm. that other people probably didn't even see it, it that's why I was like yo ref what the fuck like the elbow yeah that elbow the elbow was, across yo went, man it, it was a slit and then they showed him dissecting his movements yeah like I'm gonna slow you down from the show. Zero then on the shoulder because he saw like you know they 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 was favoring that sh that 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 arm rather yeah. the arm and he's like okay that's that's the point and that's where Donnie got it from that's that's that checkmate yep. shit checkmate he's like there's there's the issue let me zero in on that and he he picked him apart yo he picked him apart that was yeah. Tyson shit that was Tyson in his that prime right there shit. The, the way he the way he was moving like like he he had some like demon movements yo. Yeah. The way the way he was blocking and moving yeah. in and all that, yo, that's like, Tyson, it yo. It was like a shell defense. I think they call it the Philly shell defense. And I just honestly, there you you can't get any better than that, yo. I'm telling you, man. The way they showcase this boxing, if if you watch this in 4DX, you'd be five pounds by the time you leave the theater. No, we should have be broken. We should have had it in 4DX. That way, main man, I was talking. Yeah, so you right. Much could have got right. thrown out his seat. I, I'd rather I'd rather get, get get punched from Killmonger and Kang than listen mm -hmm. to this motherfucker talk the whole goddamn movie about shit that he. Nigga, I wish you got in the ring so they could knock you the fuck out. They do a tag team move and you turn into a slinky. My mouth. Whole Laffy Taffy. Burn it off. Oh, 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 oh. Was I talking too much? Like, man. Well, it, another part that we forgot, the another great part about this movie was when we first walked in the theater and the shorty sitting behind us did tell me, man, to shut up from the Yeah, jump. because he was playing Ether in the theater for some unknown reason. All you heard was, doom, doom, fuck, fuck Jay -Z. Z. I'm like, like nigga. Nigga, this is not a rap movie. The movie ain't even started yet. We had, we had the previews. What you, what you hyping yourself up for? Shit, but either way, like overall for me, and you know, I, when, when I speak personally, I, I speak personally. Yeah. 10 speak. out of 10 because I love boxing movies. I mm -hmm. love sports movies. Love them. Love them. So if we are talking about boxing, it was, a, I just, I loved it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I love the family angle. I love this daughter. The, the the interaction with the daughter and them doing sign language. I love the daughter. I, I love the fact that 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 dumbass bitch. I know she's a kid, but at the school ripped her fucking her 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 uh, her, her artwork, yeah. and with no delay, she said word. Bop. I said yes. I, I would have done that that fucking um the handshake from Note. Yeah, I would have walked in. Good job, little daughter. Good job. Mind you, when that scene came on, I was coming back from the bathroom, so I walked into her. Oh, what? so you don't you didn't know. Huh? You didn't know what happened. I did see it. Oh, you saw I was okay, walking okay, back good. in. Good, good, good. I mean, shit, if you think about it, that's that's brilliant that they showed the little girl training yeah, early because you and, know that leads to the future. And she had that 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 drop. Like she saw a pops. She was sneaking watching his games and all yep. that. I'm mean, not his games. His his fights. His fights. I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what, y'all? I give y'all. I'm going to say what? Probably eight to ten years down the line. Lord's Willow, we're all here. Yeah, like she's going to be the new. 
Great actress that played the daughter. Like I loved her to death. I loved her immediately. She, I didn't have to warm up to her. Like she, she was a natural fit because she was, she was adorable. She was a fighter. She wanted to take after her father. She, she was in a ring, you know, shadow boxing on. I'm yeah. like, yes, yes. Now the only, the only thing, the only negative thing I can really say about this, you, I felt the lack of Rocky in this movie. Oh, yeah, the because that, you know, I think that was the point though. Yeah, yeah, to show he's he's his own man. He's he's you know doing his own thing. But it's like after Creed one and two with him in it, I, I guess I guess that's just a personal thing, because Rocky's story is pretty much done. Because you know at the end of the the second one, went to go see his son, and it's like wrapped up the loose ends and everything like that. You know, so it's just it's just for me. It did, did it need Rocky? Not really, but I would like to see Rocky. You know, they they talk about him, but you don't see him. It is what it is. The yeah. final thing I'll say about this whole franchise is I like the fact that. Not everything's a happy ending. Like a lot of stories are tragic. Rocky's whole story is tragic. His whole entire story. <laughs> Damn, yeah. it's, it, no, it's not, yeah, it's not it funny. It's no, like, no, I'm saying it's, it's a sad story. It's one of the hardest things to watch like, going back to the 80s films. Like, and, and even seeing how things play out in Creed and how I'm saying, like, everyone I've loved has moved on. Like, yeah, it, it, uh, it's, it's sad. Shit. And then, and then you know, you get a little bit of that that comes back in this one where, you know, he, he, he's talking to his wife. She's like, like, I, I wanted to do this, but it's like, you know, what I mean, with 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 the progressive hearing loss and all that, like, I I can't. So now I gotta have somebody else singing my songs. That's not the future that I wanted for myself. But when she said this was not the way I envisioned, my yeah, dreams, I'm just, you know, I, I can't. But it it also makes you love the realistic. Yeah, it's like it's this is the real world. Not not everything has a fairy tale ending. Not every you don't always get what you want. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. And you can have something that you've been working towards and something that you want to do. You envision like this. Is how I want my life to be. This is what I want to happen. And the life says, oh, yeah, fuck you. And then, you know, you got to you, you. You dealt a bad hand and all you can do is play that deal with it. And it's like, OK, how do I spin this into a positive? And, you know, it, it, it shows people spinning negatives into positives and, and doing things the best way they can. Rocky did it. She's doing it like. You know, that's that's all you can do. That's that's what I love about these movies, man. Like you get a lot of realness in this. You get great boxing, but you get realness. You get family, you know, because because these movies are about family and connections and all that, too. It's not just boxing. But this movie in particular showed this movie in particular showed me and probably the audience itself that nobody's life is any better than the other. Mm. Dame lost 18 years of his life. Yeah. So you would think, damn, he's doing really bad. Then you look at what Michael B. Jordan was dealing with mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, his wife, mentally. Yeah, yeah. All of them were going through their own personal hells. That, and some of them tried to block it off and all to act like they cool and smile for the yeah. camera, so to speak. And, you know, th things was fucking them up. He lives in a mansion, has money out the ass, mm -hmm. right? But deep down inside, there was this dark ball of unhappiness, yeah. which yeah. means... Don't think that because somebody is living glamorous, they are living with in full blown happiness. Yeah. Final thing I'll say about the movie, because I know I, I can go on for, for probably days. I, I love the final talk between Dame and Donnie. Like, like where, you know, because because after he wins, he's looking back at Dame and, and you, you, you could tell it's killing him. Yeah, I mean, he, he fought he fought his brother. And even when they celebrate and they, they pop him bottles, he's still like, you know, I mean, you, you can still see something ain't right. Like, nah, man. So he he go he goes in in into the into the room, has to sit down. And he, and he talked to him. He actually he 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 you know he apologizes because you know that's killing him too. And then and then I love the fact that you know the growth from Dame is like man, this shit wasn't really even your fault. I just had to fight my own demons type shit. Yeah, it's like it's it's like you know what I mean, it, it, wrong so, place, wrong time type shit. Like it, it was it wasn't your fault. Like it it, it happened. You know what I mean. Don't blame yourself for it. And then, you know, Don is like, it wasn't your fault either. So I think that conversation was the real unfinished yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. It's the like real unfinished business. So now, now, you know, they 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 squash the beef that they had, and they still brothers at the end of the day. And it's like, you know, whatever you need, you know, you know where to find me. They they still family, yo. They're still family. Even that 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 final fight was like, it was all love right there. It's like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta work through that shit. It, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to work through it. And, and sometimes you got somebody that, that, that is there to talk you down off the ledge and, and, and tell you, you know, do this or don't do this. Like when you, you running down Center City with no shirt on, I'm just trying to, I keep telling you, don't do this shit. Get the fuck in the car. It's 30 degrees. Yeah, but you don't make it motivational. 
I mean, because you... No, you don't make it motivational. I want to see you step out the car. No. I want to hear you say, you don't have to do this. You're better than this. Nigga, it's 30 you, degrees. You got no shirt on. You, know, they all, you, you hacking a balloon every day. And why you why your shirt off and, and, and Philly bipolar weather with, with, you know, run down the street? Maybe I put the shirt back on if you make the speech. Make it... Motiv- make it... Make it Spirit, like, like, be make that shit paramount picture proof, nigga. I'm in an Uber. I'm paying for the minute. Oh shit, well that makes sense. But damn, what are y'all gonna talk? He don't give a fuck. He's he's getting bees, getting the money. I have, the fact that I have to order Uber to ride alongside you, dumbass, to tell you to get in the car. That's what I'm mad about. Fuck speeches. Get in the car. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you believe in me. <laughs> Nigga, get the fuck in the car, man. Right <laughs> Uber driver driving slow as shit to get more money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, take it down, brother. Keep going. <laughs> 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 fucking, fucking meter at $500. <laughs> Tell me you believe me. Nigga, fuck you. Get in this car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.